give me just a second here. Make sure I don't blast out everyone's eardrums. Let's get it. Oh, my top screen is gone. I might have taken it away on accident. Let me fix that. <laughs> ah, just a minute. Yep, I need that. Mm hmm. Oh, yes. But like much bigger, please. Mm hmm. I know yesterday when I did Papa's, like, things got kind of wacky with the, uh, what do you say? The windows for a bit, so I might have accidentally, like, deleted my top portion there. I think that looks fine. Beep. Beep. Please. 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 Okay. I think that looks okay, right? That looks pretty good. Is it? Maybe there's a little extra on the left here. Hold on for a second. We're gonna boop. Uh huh. And we're gonna <laughs> very slam start to this stream, right? And me being all like, "This is my wait." Did I say this enough times? Does anyone remember? Do I need to say this again? This is my favorite case. I am so excited to play Turnabout Goodbyes on stream. Have I said it enough? Should I say it again? I'm saying it again. I love this case. <laughs> I'm so excited. Okay, cool. I think we're good. Let's actually play. Your favorite in the series? Ah, maybe. That's hard to say. It's easy to say f what my favorite case is in each game. Maybe, but, oh shit, let me make sure that my cursor doesn't get in the way, just in case. Um, there we go. Is it my favorite in the series? Eh. Oh, is it not working? <laughs> yeah, woo! Cool. Oh, wait a minute. Yeah, turn about goodbyes. It just wants me to do that, right? It just wants me to start from there. Okay. Let's go. It's been, what, 15 years? About that, yes. 15 years is a long time to wait. You can't imagine how much I've suffered. Ooh, voice acting. I mean, it's just me reading. You suffered? And now, the perfect opportunity presents itself. At last, I shall have my revenge! Ooh, what? Yes, yes, yes. Merry Christmas. <laughs> the best Ace Attorney meme, to be quite honest. Merry Christmas, Beach! Merry Christmas! <laughs> is this the original DS version? It is! Because I like it the best. Hey, hey, Nick! Do you know if there's any good waterfalls around here? Waterfalls? Dare I ask why? Duh, Nick! Isn't it obvious? I need a waterfall to stand under, preferably a freezing one. Oh, is that part of your spirit medium training? Of course! Except I've been slacking off lately. I need to brave the elements and be forged anew under the rushing spring waters. Uh, okay. I don't know about any falls per se, but Gord Lake is pretty close. Oh, darn. What did I just witness? The start of the best case! Woo! Sorry, but them's the breaks. I think actually I would say this is my favorite Ace Attorney case just because... Von Karma, man. <laughs> Manfred Von Karma. Woo, boy! Woo-hoo! <laughs> Edgeworth made a fucky-wucky. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry, but them's the breaks. Couldn't you just take a cold shower or something? Good idea! So much for the rushing spring waters. So does his office have a shower in it? That's kind of weird, isn't it? Do people's offices usually have, like, a full... Then again, does, doesn't Phoenix just also kind of, like, live here now? I don't know, I'm confused. Next in the news, a large unidentified animal was sighted at Gord Lake. The town is buzzing with excitement. Locals are calling it Gordy, and a tip of hat to and a tip of the hat to Nessie, the Loch Ness monster. Though its namesake Nessie proved to be a hoax, locals are confident their Gordy is the real deal. 
I mean, there is probably a bathroom, but isn't having a shower pretty weird? You're right that Trials and Tribulations Last Case is really good, too. Ooh. Maybe I'll get to stream in it. Who knows? Boring. Can't they show real news for a change? Nick? The water pressure's kind of low in that shower. You want more pressure, huh? Why don't you go down to the fire department and have them spray you with the hose? Good idea, Nick! I can't believe she's just like, yeah, why not? Apparently, ESP is no aid in detecting sarcasm. We interrupt this program to bring you a special news bulletin. Strange occurrences continue at Gord Lake, but this time, it's murder! Gord Lake again? The body of a man was found in the lake early this morning. A suspect was apprehended. Sources inside the police department revealed that the suspect's name is Miles Edgeworth, age 24. He's only 24. Wait, is he in my court record right now? This bitch, his hair is so gray. And he is a year younger than I. This motherfucker looks like he's got 10 years on me. It makes me mad. It makes me mad. Anyway. Edgeworth was an up-and-coming prosecution attorney known for his skill and connections. He was guaranteed a long and rewarding career. Has he thrown it all away? Edgeworth? What's going on? Edgeworth- Phoenix is also 24? I think he's 23. Oh, it doesn't say. I think in this game Phoenix is fucking 23. It's redonkulous. Edgeworth would never do something like- Nick? Huh? <laughs> Maya! I guess like, he probably did just actually say yipes. <laughs> the fireman yelled at me when I called him. Maya. We got bigger things to worry about than that. They arrested Edgeworth. What? You mean the prosec- How many people named Edgeworth do you fucking know? Yeah, he's a suspect. In a murder! Wah, wah, wah. What? When? Where? Hmm? Why? How? I don't know. Let's go find out, Nick. How, how are we gonna find out? And I- oop. Looks like he's about 24. These bitches are a year younger than me and they're lawyers. I just can't imagine. Hey, Rez for Bell, it's been a while. It's been a while. You know, Nick, we've all been in here one time or another, haven't we? I guess it comes with the territory. I'm not sure it's something we should mention to too many people. There he is. I mean, wasn't Francesca a prosecutor at like 18? Yeah, that's dumb. <laughs> I'll go ahead and bitch about that when I stream the second game, because that was dumb. Oh, he just kind of walked over. So wait, we're, we're, how are we supposed to interpret that? Like, he walked over to the window, looked at us, and then Maya screamed, and he just kind of, like, turned and walked away. <laughs> hey, Edgeworth, come back! Yep, that's exactly how we're supposed to interpret it. <laughs> what are you doing here? Nick, I don't think he's in a very good mood. I don't think I would be either if I was suspected of murder. <laughs> well, he is in detention. Were you in a good mood when you were here? So you've come to laugh at the fallen attorney? Then laugh! Laugh! Well, why aren't you laughing? Nick, should we be laughing? Nah, it's a trick. Laugh and he'll get mad. Or burst into tears. Well, that would be interesting. I mean, <laughs> seeing Edgeworth cry sounds like it could be a cool time. <laughs> Edgeworth. We don't have so much free time we can spend it coming down here to laugh at you. Yes, you- <laughs> Okay, dude. I came in here like, I want to help, and you're all like, yeah, you do. Actually, he's right. Mika, baby, please. What did I do now? Tell me what I did now. I hoped you wouldn't come. I didn't want you to see me. Not like this. Hey, I didn't want to see you either. Believe me. Phoenix and Miles are gay. Changed my mind. It's impossible. If you think they're gay, then like, <laughs> there's no way I could disprove that. <laughs> it's pointless to say change my mind because I can't. <laughs> I 
Edgeworth, tell me what happened. Why should I? What are you going to do about it? Duh! We're gonna help you, that's what! Help me? You? I need to take a drink of water. <laughs> Sorry, did I just kill the mood? I need to take a drink of water. Hey, Mayu. You made me play the Papa Fuderia games again? Good. I was thinking um, if I tie up the stream early tonight, I might do it again. Who knows? Anyway. <clears throat> Don't be ridiculous. Sorry? You're a novice. You've only been in three trials. Hey. Sure, you got lucky and won all three, but your luck's bound to run out someday. You need real skill, right? Experience. Nick, he's insulting you! Nick? Why am I always the one who has to get angry? The murder took place at Gord Lake, correct? Yes, late last night. The lake is a long way away from your offices and the court. Why were you down there? I see no need to tell you. Mr. Edgeworth? You... you didn't really... Gordy. Huh? I went to see Gordy. Gordy? What's that? I'll tell you later. Why won't Edgeworth talk to us? Show him your badge. Just show him your badge. Who? Your attorney's badge? Mika, you should play that one game from Papa Dev, which is essentially Papa's Blacksmitheria, except for not being a Papa game. Hmm. Maybe either send that to me on Discord or something like that, and I might check that out. Edgeworth, let me defend you. Ha! <laughs> Good one, right? But I'm not that hard up. Not yet. What do you mean by that? Me? Trust a wet behind the ears lawyer with only three trials under his belt? Never. What? My case is near hopeless, right? Every defense attorney I've talked to has turned me down. What? Simply put, they were afraid they'd lose. It occurred to me that it might be my fault that they lack confidence. After all, I did get every single one of their clients declared guilty. I don't believe it. Regardless, I don't want you involved in this. You in particular, I cannot ask to do this. This is my first time seeing any of the Ace games, I'm so glad I'm being introduced this way. You're welcome. Showing the badge actually do it- There's multiple times that showing the badge does something. I don't know how to tell you people in a way that you'll believe. It's true. There's multiple times where you're like, Look at my badge! And then they're like, <gasps> And then something happens. This is where it happened? Yeah, Gord Lake is in the middle of this park. I can see some police walking around in there. Questioning people, probably. Hey, isn't that Detective Gumshoe over there? Well, pal, there's enough of us here. Anyone found anything? Sorry, sir, nothing. Idiot! The trial's tomorrow! We need clues on the double! B but, sir... There weren't any clues. That's why we arrested that attorney, Mr. Edgeworth. I mean, yeah, no shit. It's clear, sir. He's the one who- SHUT UP! <laughs> Just you try saying that again. I'll- the, I'll make you sorry if you do. I mean, just- Get out of my face, pal. <laughs> yes, sir. Have you guys seen that Twitter post that's like an excellent gender-neutral term to call someone is pal? Um... <laughs> And it's like, and one of the descriptions was like, non-sexual, with an asterisk, and then after the asterisk, it's like, unless your partner wants to fuck Dick Gumshoe. <laughs> I was like, God, that's so good. Detective Gumshoe's kind of scary today. Recruits. Puh. Ah! Ah! Hey, you're that hairy guy! Hairy butts! This dude literally saved my life, and he can't remember my name. <laughs> Who doesn't want to fuck Gumshoe? Ah! 
<laughs> Excuse me, Vika, this is a McDonald's drive-thru. <laughs> is everyone using that against me now? <laughs> <sighs> right, Phoenix Wright. Will you ever learn my name? Are you saying that you're a coward if you won't fuck Dick Gumshoe? <laughs> oh, man. I will just- what are you doing here, pal? Investigating? Uh, well, yeah, I suppose. Well, I'm here to help. Ask me anything you want. Bring it! He seems different than usual. I wonder what's up. Uh... Mr. Edgeworth hasn't actually asked us to defend him yet. Huh? Oh. You don't say. Oh man, is my good friend Tony Bees in the chat? Ah, my good friend Tony Bees! <laughs> Did someone just call Gumshoe a himbo? Get out of here! He's not himbo quality! To be a himbo, you have to be like... What do you say? Ah, uh, yes, it is you, Tony Bees. You have to be like, one of those like, uh, like stereotypical sexy guys. You know? Gumshoe like, definitely smells. <laughs> Detective Gumshoe, do you know what happened here? Huh? You don't know, pal? No. Wow, okay, Mr. Head in the Fluffy Pink Clouds lawyer. Head in the- huh? Never mind, I'll tell ya. It happened last night, about 50 minutes after midnight. There was a boat on Gord Lake. In that boat were two men. That kind of looked like wieners for some reason. And then one of them said, Merry Christmas, and then- <laughs> This is my favorite case in the game. Me too, buddy! Whoo! I'm so hyped. One of those men shot the other with a pistol after saying Merry Christmas. <laughs> and the shooter was Mr. Edgeworth? A cop who arrived on the scene arrested him. What's a bimbo? Stereotypical sexy dumb girl. A himbo is just the male version, right? <laughs> Girl, she was a- he's- I would say Gumshoe doesn't qualify for himbo because he's not, like, what's the word I'm looking for, like, uh, conventionally sexy? He's not like your stereotypical sexy anime man, so you can't just go calling him a himbo. He's like, a big, you could call him like a, a big papa type, I don't, <laughs> I don't know. How old is Gumshoe? He's 30. I didn't know that. Mika, how dare you gatekeep himbo? <laughs> how did he get here so fast? Well, there was a witness. When the report came in, we raced to the lake. A witness? Tell me about the wit- uh, Edward. <laughs> you don't think Mr. Edgeworth is a murderer? Absolutely not! It's impossible! I don't care if he's a witness either! I don't believe a little bit of it! A little bit. Right, who cares what the witness says? <laughs> I care. You really believe in him, don't you, detective? Of course I do. But the police are pretty sure he's the killer. Nobody's even really taken this investigation that seriously. Oh no! After all the help Mr. Edgeworth has been to us. Hard to imagine that no one's standing up to take his side. Well, at least you are, detective. At least you are. Is it true? No one will take Mr. Edgeworth's case? Yeah, he is a bit of a celebrity. If you defended him and lost, your reputation be sure to suffer. What's more, the case against him is, well, it's pretty solid. I suppose it would be if they have a witness. Hey, pal! Don't tell me you're gonna turn your back on him, too! Remember the Steel Samurai! <laughs> Mr. Edgeworth helped you get your client declared innocent. Yeah, that was fucking weird, too. <laughs> when he was just suddenly like, let me help you. And then he was like... Wait, is it canon that... Edgeworth is, like, actually a fan of the Steel Samurai, though. 
Because there's that part where he's like, I'm a big fan of your work, and Phoenix is like, you're lying. But then I'm like, isn't that a thing now that Edgeworth, even Edgeworth actually is into it? It is canon? Cool. I'm so about that. <laughs> That's adorable. <laughs> Can't you just imagine him, like, watching the, the Steel Samurai with, like, a cup of tea, and he's just, like, shaken because he's like, this is so fucking cool! <laughs> There's an action figure of the Steel Samurai in his office? Yeah, but I think Old Bag gave it to him. <sighs> I went to Edgeworth. I tried. He really doesn't want us to represent him. Especially not us, he said. What? Well, that doesn't make any sense, pal. You guys should have heard him talking about you after the Steel Samurai case. He kept saying, right, 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 over and over. Nick? I'm not sure that's a good sign. Neither am I. Why wouldn't he want your help? I don't get it. It is pretty gay. <laughs> what is <laughs> Did Gumshoe just catch, like, Edward's, like, stomping around in his office and he's like, Right! Phoenix, right! And then Gumshoe's like, They must be such good friends. <laughs> this should be in a YouTube friendship compilation. <laughs> Who was this witness? Eh, sorry pal, that's confidential. Anyway, the witness saw everything, apparently. I'm sure they'll turn up at the trial tomorrow. Was there only that one witness? Yep, it was pretty cold out on the lake last night. And it was Christmas Eve, after all. Still, we're being thorough. You never know when you're gonna turn up another witness. That's why we're here today, checking things out! So far, we're coming up empty. Oh, it's Christmas today. I've forgotten. What are you getting me for Christmas, Nick? Talk to Santa. Detective Gumshoe, sir. What, find something? Ah, uh, no, sir, not yet. But there was a call from the precinct. They want to hold an investigation briefing. A briefing? Right, I'm off. Oh, sorry, pal. I guess you heard. I gotta go. Any last things you want to ask me about before I head back? The autopsy report. Roses are red. I drink Malort. Please give me the autopsy report. <laughs> Happy Valentine's Day. <laughs> Merry Christmas. Well, yes. Do you have any information on the victim? Sorry. They haven't worked up the autopsy report yet. What kind of fucking ace attorney game is this? No autopsy report? Might as well just turn it in now! I'm still waiting for it myself. Actually, say, if you get the time, drop by the precinct. We can talk more there, pal. You're not coming back, detective? Eh, uh, probably not, pal. So, what should we do if we have something to talk to you about? Ah, right. Here, I'll show you how to get to the precinct. Come down and see me anytime. Detective Gumshoe gave you directions to the police station. Oh, hey, Detective Gumshoe. What? Um, we'd like to take a look around in the park. Can we walk around? Yeah, no problem, pal. You got my permission. You know, Nick, I think there's something to be said for talking to people when they're busy. Yeah, they don't have the time to think about not giving- Oh my god. Am I just, like, choking on my own tongue today? Let me take another drink of water. <laughs> <clears throat> no autopsy report? Fuck this. Miles is guilty. I know, right? <laughs> oh, please. Let's not even talk about Turnabout Big Top today. I'll start- I have spent m the majority of today with a cluster headache. <laughs> I don't want it to come back while I think about Turnabout Big Top. Ooh. I'll tell you guys one thing. I totally do. <laughs> no, it's fine. Don't worry about it. But I'll tell you one, guys. When I stream Justice for All, if there's one thing I'm not looking forward to, it's fucking Turnabout Big Top. Oh my god, I'm sorry I get cluster headaches too. Yeah, I think part of the reason I'm getting one is, um, uh, I forget if I talked about it on stream. I have to get my eyes checked. I've had perfect vision for, like, most of my life. The majority of my life. Uh, 
I'm sorry, now I must delve into a personal story. When I was young, when I was like... <laughs> Hold on, let me just get to a part where we're moving around. Right, now let's get investigating! Um, I think I was... 12, I went to the eye doctor and they said I needed glasses, but then I hit puberty and then I had perfect vision from like age 14 until 25 and now I don't have perfect vision and I had like a mini crisis about it and all that good stuff. But now I think that's why I get cluster headaches and then today I like had to take ibuprofen and then like I took like a bunch of ibuprofen and my cluster headache was like, y'all hear something? And I just kind of suffered <laughs> for like six hours and eventually it went away. That's life! Anyway, turnabout big top sucks, am I right? I don't know where I'm supposed to go. I guess I'll go to the beach. Oh, doesn't Larry show up here? I think Larry shows up here. <laughs> wow, wowzers! This is Gord Lake? Yep. Ooh, this is weird. I think in the... This is really random. But I, it, because I'm looking at that sign, I remember, if I'm correct, in the Japanese version, this is just some factorial shit I know. In this English version here, you can see there's a sign that says Samurai Dogs. Because they're ser selling air quotes Samurai Hot Dogs. But in the Japanese version, I think it was called Samurai Senbei, as in rice crackers. Just a random localization thing. <laughs> Mika, your eyes are huge. Yeah, that must be why I have vision problems, because my eyes are too big. They're too big for my face, therefore seeing is hard. <laughs> <clears throat> I'm not sure it weren't a wowzers, though. Hmm, probably not. But hey, look at that snack stand. Samurai dogs? I want a samurai dog, please. I bet they're great. With a name like Samurai Dog, how could they not be? They're a little behind the times, though. The kids are all into the pink princess now. I mean, like, you know? Nope. I wonder if there's anything cool to see. There's a fucking sweet trash can. That's empty. Cool. I'm the one person in the world who doesn't mind Turnabout Big Top. You live a blessed life. <laughs> Oh wait, what's this? I think this is relevant actually. Huh, someone left one of some of those one of those some of those poppers here. You know, if you pull the string and it goes pop. Yeah, I know the ones. You see them a lot around New Year's. Hey Nick, it might be a clue. Let's take it. <sighs> Come on, admit it. You just wanna pop it, right? Was it that obvious? Did my controller just disconnect? You son of a bitch! Come back to life! My controller just disconnected. We'll just, you know. What's turn about Big Top? It's the case in the second game. I mean, take it. I suppose it couldn't hurt. Huh, where'd it go? I already put it in my pocket. Cool. Turning about Big Top is great if you have insomnia. Why? Because it'll make you fall asleep? I remember having to do a lot of investigating. It's- yeah, it's injustice for all. So... <sighs> I'll stream it, guys. I'll stream it. Y thanks, Mika, that's the joke. Sometimes I don't- sometimes I don't, okay? I just- mm. My least favorite case was in Apollo Justice. Ah, oh, which one's that? I'm curious, actually, because I definitely would think Turnabout Big Top is probably my least favorite overall. <laughs> I like it here, Nick. Look, someone's camping. They got guts camping at the scene of a murder. Hey, hey, Nick! If they were camping here last night, they might know something about the murder. <laughs> That's true. Good call, Maya. Let's go talk to him. Boy, are you ready? For she? This SUV has seen better days. It's dented all over. Can't believe anyone would drive their car down here. What do we got? There's food and some magazines on the sheet. Takes a pretty tough skin to camp in this cold. 
Hey, Nick. <sighs> what, don't tell me you're hungry again. No, no. I was just wondering, why are there camping pots and pans made of aluminum? They didn't talk about that in any of the law books. So, there's no law saying they have to be made out of aluminum, then. I'm not having this conversation. I think it's because aluminum doesn't break easily. And also, you can put it over fire. Isn't that why? Anyone want to <laughs> vouch for me on this? Like, I think that's why it's made of aluminum. Because it's lightweight. Well, yeah, there's that, too. But, like, glass would, like, break super easy. So bringing glass on a camping trip would be stupid. I mean, you could use plastic, but you just don't want heavy, bulky shit while you're camping. I mean, you could use plastic when you're camping. Because you can crush it on your head and look epic. <laughs> you got it! I think it's mostly because of those things. What's your thoughts on human catapults? I don't, I don't have thoughts on that. Please do not cook over fire with plastic, that's a very poor idea. Yeah, that's why I was saying you would use that instead of plastic. Nick, what is this place? A boat rental shop. Which would why <laughs> which is why there's a big sign that says boat rentals right there. Closed for Christmas, it seems. I guess a murder taking place on one of those boats won't be good for business either. Boats. I've never ridden on a boat. Really? Well, how about we go on one when the trial's finished? Hey, good idea. You bet! Oh, that was kind of cute. I expected to turn around with Phoenix, like, complaining about that, but then actually that was cute. <laughs> Without going into detail, I'll just say Turnabout Succession is a complete and utter mess with almost no redeeming qualities. Wouldn't disagree with that. Hey, Contra. Fishing in Minecraft. That's cool. Doesn't look like anyone is around. They're probably closed because it's Christmas. Or because there was a murder. Or both. Cool. I think now we have to go talk to Edgeworth again, maybe? Now that we've kind of explored. A lot of people disagree with me. I... It's been a while since I played. But I'm gonna say you might be right. I'm not immediately like, eh. When I think of Apollo Justice, I mostly just remember overall liking the game. But it's been a very long time. So that's all I can really say about it. I don't remember there being any big low points in it that I was like, boy, I'm suffering. So it's hard for me to say. Pop the popper at Edgeworth, maybe it'll cheer him up. <laughs> just fucking pop like one of those little streamer poppers in his face and is like, cheer up, let me defend you in court. <laughs> Sorry, I keep having to take water breaks. I kind of like choked on my water earlier. Now my throat is like, ugh. Apollo Justice is unique because the first case is the best case in the game. Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> wow. Just, did you do it? Did you do it, son? Edgeworth. This is really hard for me to ask, but you didn't do it, right? Right? <sighs> Think what you will. I have only one request. Huh? Stay out of this case. Why? But Nick is trying to help you! I know. I know that. But I don't want your help, okay? Damn. Why not? Look, just go away and leave me alone. Nick, Mr. Edgeworth did it, didn't he? Maya, let's go investigate elsewhere. But Nick... I hate Charlie. How dare! <laughs> I just have weird Ace Attorney opinions. That's welcome here. Go ahead and bring your weird Ace Attorney opinions. Actually, I'm just gonna butt in to the question. Is there an Ace Attorney character you really hate for no reason? 
Uh, that's why I need to replay the third game, because as far as I remember, I fucking hated Godot. <laughs> and I want to replay it and see if I... Okay, I've officially redacted my statement on hating Gumshoe. I don't really know if I like him yet, but I definitely do not hate him to the severity that I used to. Um, how did you hate Godot? I don't know, I need to replay it. But from what I remember, I found him fucking annoying and could not stand him. So... <laughs> I know that's super controversial because a lot of people love Godot, but I did not like him. How did you hate Gumshoe? I thought he was annoying. <laughs> Once again, just thought he was annoying and didn't see redeeming qualities. And now I'm like, dude, I think I was just being fucking ignorant. He's a sweet dude. He just does stupid stuff. <sighs> anyway. I do like Emma. You're right. I'm a huge fan of Emma. She's cute. I love- oh my god, she's an Apollo Justice. I'm like, ooh, I love her. <laughs> so yeah, I do like Emma. Looks like Detective Gumshoe isn't here. Something wrong, miss. Huh? Turning yourself in? Okay, what did you do? Shoplifting? Lar- I actually don't know what that is. Lar- larceny? Lar- lar- is that what that is? Can someone tell me what that is? Lar- am I saying that right? Larceny? Lar- Larceny? <laughs> Larceny is just minor theft. Ah, I see. Personal property? You got it. Cool, cool, cool. Okay, what did you do? Shoplifting? Larceny? Public indecency? N no! None of those things! We're looking for Detective Gumshoe. Is he around? Gumshoe? Oh, yeah, he's in a meeting right now. I don't think he'll be out anytime soon. Okay, we'll come back. You do that. Oh, and go straight home and stay out of trouble. No more shoplifting, you got that? Do I look like a criminal or something? I don't think there's anything else to do here. I was like, I could examine stuff, but I don't think you get anything. I could look at the blue badger. Hey, is that the police department's mascot? That's the blue badger. It was my idea. I made it. It's my mascot. I see. I sure didn't ask. How nice. I'll get him assigned mascot of the criminal affairs department if it's the last thing I do. The good luck. Yeah, I don't think there's anything to really see here. I wish we got to interact with the chief more. Yeah, he probably is a cool dude, right? I don't think talking to Maya will give us anything. I'm not gonna read all of this. We'll just see if she has anything interesting to say. Let's investigate. We should talk to Mr. Edgeworth, which we did, and then he was like, leave me the fuck alone, so that didn't go super well. Maya shoplifted? She didn't. The chief just accused her of it for no reason. <laughs> I'm gonna send you a bad Phoenix it's Edgeworth Phoenix X Edgeworth fanfic later. Is that okay? Sure. <laughs> I'll read it and I'll give you my honest thoughts on it. I used to read, I remember I had a friend, well I still have a friend, she's still like my best friend, who uh, used to read a fuck ton of Ace Attorney fanfiction, so we definitely got some interesting results from that. There's a lot of characters I feel like when I played this as a teenager, I didn't like as much, and now I think they're so- Like, Larry. When I was a teenager, I was just like, he's just dumb, but now he's hilarious. I love when he shows up. <laughs> Larry's dialogue is so funny. I loved- and Larry in this game, in the first case, when he's all like, I'm gonna die, Nick! I'm just gonna die any second! Like, that was fucking hilarious. <laughs> This camera has a mic and some kind of attachment. It must take pictures when triggered by a noise. Wow, cool! Let's try it out! Oh yeah, that's right. <clears throat> Hi, I'm Nick! Maybe I'm not saying it loud enough. Hey! I'm Nick! Huh. Nick! Will you stop that? Maybe it's broken? Don't kick it. Maybe it isn't set to respond to voices? Well, what then? I know! The party popper? Bang. 
Yep, it responded. Yo! Hey, you! Get your hands off of that! Huh. What in the Sam Hill? Look what you've done now! There goes a whole roll of film! I love this character, by the way. I hope you're all excited. Sorry's nice, but I don't pay my bills. Y'all know how much a roll of that film costs. I'll pay you back. What were y'all thinking setting off a party popper in a place like this? Uh, well... What? Don't try to play stupid with me just because you think I'm some country bumpkin. Yeah, I know how y'all Yanks think. Did she really just call us, like, Yankees? Holy fuck. <laughs> Oh my god, you guys saying that she's best girl? Good taste. <laughs> Good taste. I say, those southern full- I can't do a southern accent, by the way. If you're gonna say, like, Mika, you don't sound southern. I can't do accents in general. I'm doing my best. Is that an afro? Yeah, I guess. <laughs> Either that or she super glued brown cotton balls to her head. Whatever you want to believe. <laughs> I say, those southern a- be dumb. Well, let me tell you, just because I might be dumb don't mean we all are. I mean, she's right. Everybody's stupid. We are all sharing a communal brain cell at this moment. Your mic has started doing the pitch again? No! Why are you doing this? I'm just trying to play video games! I hit puberty, everybody. Is it sound low right now? You need to get a new mic- No! This microphone- No. Hold on just a second, y'all. Give me just a hot second. Hello? Do I sound normal now? Give me a hello <laughs> if I sound okay. Hello, you do. I think it's because my microphone is connected to a like USB, what do you say, like multi out thingy-majig. Also, the cord for it is dented so that my, I know it's not the microphone. I'm like, please do not insult my microphone. It's like a pretty freaking new Blue Yeti mic that has not suffered any damage whatsoever. I- the thought of having to replace it makes me scream. <laughs> it makes me scream. But, uh... USB hubs are hot trash for most devices. Yeah, but in the past it was fine, but I guess now it's not okay, because I did that before, and just recently started getting this problem. Yeah, hub, that's the word I was looking for, USB hub, but yeah, I guess now it's it's not fine. I'm also just waiting here to make sure that I'm not pitch shifting again. I appreciate uh, the comment that you were about to applaud me on my vocal range. I would love to pretend that my vocal range is that good. Anything that draws that much fucks with hubs? Yeah! Have you played Ghost Trick? I have! I love Ghost Trick. I actually have thought about streaming it, so... That might be coming in the future. Because Ghost Trick is good as fuck! It's a very underappreciated DS game. Beep, beep, beep. Stream Tomodachi Life? You already know I want to do that. 
I almost did, but I couldn't get it quite working. <laughs> so anyway, if I sound stable, I guess we can continue, yeah? I'm pretty sure then it was the hub. It might be the cord too, because the cord for my microphone got dented at the, the tip. Stream RuneScape? I should do that. And just the tip? <laughs> yeah, just the tip. Anyway, let's actually play the video game now that it appears that we're good. And I'm- I forgot that I had another USB available in the first place, so... Thankfully I didn't have to go disconnecting fucking everything to reconnect my microphone. Woo! I'm here for Papa's Bakeria. I mean, yeah, if I get to a good point uh, of stopping, uh, later in the night, um, like if we finish the first trial in the next hour or so, um, then I'll totally do some more Papa's games. Halloweenies, five month streak. Nice! I actually feel kind of like a weird <laughs> inferiority when, like, because I'm also, as a streamer on Games Were Painted, subscribed to Games Were Painted, but I've had, like, a two-month streak, and I was like, yeah! And then I see people who have, like, an eight-month streak, and I'm like, no! Because <laughs> I'm like, I don't know! <laughs> anyway. <laughs> Let's continue. And who are you now? Her chaperone? Yeah, uh, no, rather, uh, we're sort of friends. Just figure out what y'all are gonna say and say it for bejesum's sake. God, I'd rather sit through one of Papa's draws than listen to you stutter all day. Oh boy. Can we get a count of how many times Phoenix says oh boy in this game? He says it a lot. What do you mean you subbed that one time? I've been subbed for two months! Wow! I'm a subscriber! I guess we should pay her for the film. Watch it! Yes, ma'am. On second thought, I'll pay later. I'm really sorry! Uh... What? Can't you see I'm changing the film on my camera here? Someone, I'm not naming names, but someone used up a whole roll. Sorry. That didn't work. I wonder if I have anything to show her that would get her attention. If I ask for her name, y'all are gonna be shocked. Uh, what? Can't you see I'm changing the film on my camera here? S oh, shit. Okay, she's just gonna say the same shit. Once again, I you're all gonna get pissed. It's your favorite! I, uh, this is my badge. Huh? Aren't badges supposed to be all shiny and impressive? You a cop or something? Uh, I'm a lawyer. What? Y'all ain't gonna try and pull one of them lawsuits on me over that film now. Cause I'll have y'all know, I'm a fighter, and I wrestled- <laughs> She's literally like, let's do it baby, I know the law. No, that's not it at all. We're here investigating a murder that took place here. On the lake. Oh, let me make sure that my hood... Ace Attorney drinking game, let's get it. If you actually took a drink every time Phoenix said, oh boy, you might end up on the floor. <laughs> a murder? Sounds cool. Why didn't y'all say that in the first place? Go ahead, ask me anything you like. Finally, some cooperation. You too. Y'all can come out of hiding now. I won't bite hard. Come to think of it, where did Maya get to? Sorry. I, I was feeling a little overwhelmed. The culture gap and all. Never you mind, honey. I can talk talk can talk I can talk yank for you if you uh, him if it pleases you. Finish your drink if the badge progresses the story. God, yeah. <laughs> That would already- if you were doing the drinking game for this case, that would mean twice now you would have had to finish your drink. You would already be thoroughly drunk, depending on what you're drinking. Great then, I'm Lada. Lada Hart, but y'all can call me Lada. I'm here for photographing... 
for photographing. I literally almost said photographing meteor showers for a research project. Mighty pleased to meet ya. What happened? Oh yeah, when was that murder anyway? I ain't seen much television lately. It happened late in the night on Christmas Eve. That's so. Christmas Eve? Yeah, that was yesterday. A man on the boat was shot. Did you see anything? Well, let me see. A boat, you say? I reckon I might have seen one. Not sure, though. Y'all gotta remember, I've been watching this here lake for a good three days now. I've seen enough boats to choke a mule. What the fuck does that mean? Kinda hard to remember when I've seen one. So, what is it you do, Lada? Huh? Me? <laughs> Y'all don't really want to know that, do ya? Actually, I'm a research student at Country U, right in the heart of the Heartland. So she's Lotta Heart, who lives in the heart of the Heartland. Wow, neat! Nick, she's a research student at a university, Country U. Uh, so I hear. So, when did you come up here? Hmm, let me see. I guess it was about three days ago. What are you- I almost said photographing again! What are you photographing? Didn't I tell you all that already? Meteors, yep, meteor showers! Falling stars? Yeah, that's why she has the camera pointed at the fucking lake. <laughs> I'm sorry, was that spoilers? It's not spoilers at this point to be like she's lying. <laughs> it's pretty obvious that she's covering up. That's quite a camera you have there. Y'all better know it. It's German made. Is that... Are German cameras good? A genuine... So... Salingen? Isn't that where they make knives? <laughs> what? Um... So what's that device you have stuck to the camera? Huh? Device? It started moving all by itself when I fired my party popper. Oh, that, that triggers the shutter whenever it detects certain sounds. It's programmed to pick up loud noises right now. A programmable camera. Neat. I love how she doesn't question that. <sighs> Whatever. We got evidence. Oh, I figured now Larry would show up. Because, I'm sorry. I mean, I've played this case a lot, so there's a lot that I still remember. And I'm just like, I know Larry's gonna show up. I hope that's not spoilers, but he does. Because I know there's a couple people in the chat who actually haven't played Ace Attorney. I'm sorry, did I just go to the same place twice? Wow. I'm very talented, very smart. Uh, maybe I do have to keep talking to Lotta. I'm not sure what to give her, though. Yeah, never mind, I guess. I guess I do have to talk to Lotta. My bad. My bad! Oh, wait, unless... No, okay. Bum-bum-bum-ba-da-da-da-da-da-da. bum um, I don't know what to show her. All I have is her camera. Oh, okay, so your camera it triggers on loud explosion noises? Actually, the victim in the case were research- Oh, okay, okay, okay. He was shot with a pistol. A pistol? Right, I'm sorry, I'm kind of skipping through this. Now, wouldn't a gunshot make a pretty similar noise to our party popper? I guess it would. Your camera. Didn't it get a picture of the murder, did it? Hey, y'all are pretty bright. I see what you're saying. Tell you what, I'll have a look-see at my film. Would have been a photo taken late last night. Okay, what if I got something? Could be a witness to murder, cool. Good for you. Okay, cool, so that is what I had to do. Now I feel dumb. Oh well, shit happens. Sometimes you just kind of assume when you get rid of all the talk options that that might be it. And it's kind of weird. It's like, I don't know what you guys think. To me, it feels a little bit counterintuitive to like present to them evidence that you got from that character, but that does happen. 
Sometimes! Anyway. She went inside her SUV. I guess we should come back later. Cool. So now the game was officially like, you can leave. I like when it does that. I like when it's like, you're done here. Fuck off. I'm sorry if I say, let's do it, baby. I know the law a lot while playing this game, but obviously it becomes relevant often. I don't know. Check if gumshoe's available. Oh! I guess Detective Gumshoe is still in that meeting. Whoa! <laughs> Thanks for coming down, pal! Detective Gumshoe! We just finished the meeting. For better or for worse. I get the feeling we're in for some bad news. Yeah, I need to actually turn down my volume a bit. It's a bit loud for me. Do you know anything about the victim yet? No, no. Still can't ID him. Has Mr. Edgeworth said anything? Not a word. So, how did the meeting go? I can't tell you, pal. You're a lawyer! True. You know, I don't know what to believe anymore. Sure, Mr. Edgeworth's human like you or me. Still, I get the feeling that if he'd done something wrong, he wouldn't go hiding it. That's just the kind of guy he is. I think I'm giving- now I'm giving Gumshoe like a slightly southern accent too. <laughs> I can't do accents. <laughs> Gumshoe- I think I'm giving Gumshoe like three different accents at this point. He just says everything. He just talks funny all the time. Woohoo! How wacky, how zany. Also, I just realized when he makes this face, it's like his teeth have become disconnected from- it's like his dentures came loose. Do you understand what I'm saying? He's like, I'm walking here! <laughs> Consistency, what's that? I mean, like I said before, I was like, disclaimer, if my voices, air quotes, voices that I've given to characters aren't consistent with my older streams, I took a two week break in between streaming this game. I have no fucking clue. <laughs> So they think that Mr. Edgeworth did it? Well, the trial starting tomorrow is scheduled. I see. Uh, hey, in the end, you did tell us about the meeting. Don't go telling anyone else, pal. Yes, sir. And do me a favor. Stand by Mr. Edgeworth. He needs help, and you're the ones to help him. I'm sure he's got some reason why he won't talk to us. Thanks, Detective Gumshoe. Trusting Edgeworth. Detective Gumshoe, how come you trust Mr. Edgeworth so much? Well, I think that was obvious. We got a strong working relationship, us two. We trust each other, and that's how it works. A working relationship? See, Mr. Edgeworth always gets his defendants declared guilty every time. Yeah, his methods might be a little extreme at times, but there's a reason. He trusts our investigation, see? He trusts us to get the right man. That's why I work extra hard, pal. We gotta earn that trust he places in us. I see. Mr. Edgeworth is a man you can trust, and you have my word on that. Ah, Gumshoe. What do you have perpetually tucked behind your ear, I wonder? <laughs> I was wondering, did you ever get that autopsy report? Oh, that? Yeah, I made a copy for you. Nice. We got the autopsy report. This case isn't fucked anymore. Thank you. Nick? Huh? Can you show me that photo of the victim? That face. Someone you know? I... I don't know. I just have this feeling that I met him somewhere a long time ago. Foreshadowing. I'm gonna assume I have to go... Nah. Nah. Guess not. Guess not. What are your guys' favorite Ace Attorney characters? Since we do have a lot of people in the chat that are fans. 
Because I would say overall my favorite character is Maya. Just, she's my girl! I love her. Gumshoe or Edgeworth? That's good. You know, the thing is, though, is I asked that, and you could say pretty much any character, and I would be like, that's good taste. I guess unless you choose, like, one of the victims that, like, you never talk to, which, I mean, that would be valid. It would just be weird. <laughs> Look at my badge! Okay, cool. Sorry, I'm drawing a blank right now. Wait, just watch his eyebrows. I just like watching him make that face. Look at him. More, more. I want him to like wiggle his eyebrows set to music. <laughs> that was probably in one of them Phoenix Wrong parodies. Ooh, is anybody, is anybody in my age group and remembers those fucking things that were on, I think they were on Newgrounds? Uh, Phoenix Wrong was like these parody videos where it was basically just, they would set the sprites from Ace Attorney to music or clips or like scenes from movies and make them like act them out and do things and you know usually stuff that was like funny or in character or whatever and they were really funny at least from what I remember if you go back and you're like this isn't funny at all sorry but I remember watching them all the time and thinking they were s boot to the head yeah we talked about boot to the head it's still the funniest ace attorney video ever <laughs> shit we should watch that on stream Someone wanted me to the other day, and I hadn't been able to figure out the, uh, the X-Split thing, but I could do that. I could make everyone watch Boot to the Head at this point. It's so funny. Oh, shit. New dialogue. Oh, nothing. Just something's been bothering me. Could you show me that autopsy report once more? Oh, shit. Okay. Shit's happening. I should actually pay attention. Hey, I remember now! This guy! This is a lawyer that was at the office Mia worked at! I met him once when I went there to hang out with Sis! That office? Wait, you mean Grossberg's office? Right, that guy! That was the last name I expect- I read that sentence incorrectly. That was the last name I expected to come up. Maybe I should go talk to him for old time's sake. You haven't put up anything to, uh, cover up <laughs> where that giant pa Hey, but, like, Red White got arrested. Why didn't Grossberg get his painting back? What the fuck? It's been a while since I was here last. Mr. Grossberg is out as usual. Hey, Nick, look at the wall! That painting is still missing. Mia must have known about the deal with Mr. Grossberg and Red White. She kept track of all White's extortion and blackmail rackets. It's been a while. Why is the wall there a different color? A big painting was hanging there. <laughs> I bet he gave it to some romantic interest. Didn't... That's so weird, because wasn't there a part when I was playing that case where you're supposed to make the connection between Grossberg and Red White and you just say, like, they were- one of the options is they were lovers? Because, like, everyone in the chat bullied me- well, didn't really bully me because I wanted to see it. They were like, please select that and see what happens! <laughs> just be like, they were lovers! <laughs> uh, uh, yeah. I don't think there's anything to see here, really. Expensive looking mahogany bookshelves, lined with books. Huh, funny, they don't look like they've ever been touched. We don't need them. Then we can take that wooden bear. It is kind of cute. Oh. A table for clients. Hmm, an elegant ebony case, and if I'm not mistaken, that lighter's made of solid gold. I think this is the same dialogue. I'm not really into smoking. We could put out candy or gum. Classy. <laughs> huh. In case you're wondering. And in fact, I guess Phoenix isn't really into smoking. Now we know. Sorry. No hard-edged fan arts of Phoenix chain smoking in his office, I guess. What a shame. 
If I, if I went to see a lawyer and they had candy in their office, I'd be all over it. I used to pass by a really fancy looking uh, lawyer's office in my hometown. And I remember through the window, I could see that they had like one of those jars of dum-dums, which seems really weird for a lawyer to have, but you know. And um, I remember being like, man, I want to go and talk to that lawyer just about their job and like, maybe they'll give me candy, but I never did. Hey y'all! Lada! Wait up a sec! We got bingo! Bingo? My automatic camera took two pictures last night! Hey! This is them! Take a look! Neat! Two wieners getting in a fight! That's exactly what we needed! Wait! See? See? He's shooting him with that pistol! It looks like that, yes! But you can't really tell who that is shooting. Yeah, well, there was enough fog out last night to strangle a bull for- What the fuck does that mean? But you know, seeing these photos reminded me of something. What? I saw the murder happen. I'm a witness. Oh my god. Yeah, you just like fucking like- Oh yeah, so I forgot. I witnessed a murder. <laughs> Should I be telling somebody about that? <laughs> what? Are you serious? Of course! How do you forget? Never mind. Y'all reckon I should tell the cops? <laughs> I reckon so. Good night, Mayu. Thanks for coming to the stream. I reckon so. What's that? Now don't y'all go trying to mock my accent. Which I'm doing by even attempting an accent. I'm a sensitive lady. Hey, so I'm off to talk to the cops. Y'all can have this photo. Later. I like her tiny eyebrows, too. What, can't y'all see I'm kind of busy? Tell us what you saw, too, please. Nice try, honey, but I wasn't born yesterday. I'm a witness, and that means I'm on the side of justice, and that means the cops. Allegedly. I'd sooner eat the south side of a nor- the, the south side of a northbound skunk. Lada! Don't let it get your ski- ski- skivvies. In a bunch. <laughs> Friends today, enemies tomorrow. Or is that the other way around? No matter, I'm gone. Hey, maybe they'll let me do some testifying. Hot darn! She left. Well, that's one more witness. What do we do now, Nick? Well, if she saw something, there's not much we can do about it. The question is, what exactly did she see? I guess we'll find out in the trial tomorrow. Oh boy, I get to inconvenience myself. Yeah, right? Ooh, is Larry gonna show up? Is Larry here? Looks like the police have given up their questioning. Hey! Huh! Nick, I think Santa's mad at you! Long time no see, Nick! Nick, you know Santa? Wow, Nick and Saint Nick. Hey, I see the connection! Don't be ridiculous! Dude, it's me! R Larry! What are you doing here? Isn't it obvious? I'm working my day job! I sell samurai dogs! Want one? Gotta get money for dates, you know. My girl Kia, Kia, is, is, is it like is it supposed to be like Beyonce? So she's Kianse. I don't know. My girl Kianse deserves the best. Kianse, not another model, I hope. Oh, Kianse's a fine, fine woman, Nick. It was her idea that I wear this costume. She was all, "You go, girlfriend." You know, she bought this costume for me. That. That's- that's great, Larry. Wow, a Santa costume. She must be really nice. Whoa, cute. Nick, who's she? She's not your- not my what? No, she's not. I'm his partner, Maya Faye. I'm, uh, the little sister? Sister? Wow, Nick, must be tough. Working nine to five, having to take care of a little sister. 
N no, I'm not Nick's sister. I'm my older sister's little sister. Huh, sounds great. Don't worry, Maya, he's not listening. I think introducing yourself as someone's partner, too, is kind of like... He's like... Is that your girlfriend? Oh, no, I'm his partner. Oh, okay, so you're dating then. You know, like... <laughs> Hey, Larry. There was a murder here last night. You work here. Have you heard anything? What do you call the ritual to summon the spirit of a dead pop singer? A Beyonce. You know, like a- well, it's like seance, but then it's like a beyonce. I'm assuming I have to say it like beyonce. <sighs> Let me try that again. What do you call a ritual to summon the spirit of a dead pop singer? A beyonce. But, um, You work here, have you heard anything? Nick, you're wasting your time. Last night was Christmas Eve. He was with Keyonce, obviously. He wouldn't have been standing out here in the cold. Ugh. I think what you just said caught him off guard, Maya. No, it's just... Keyonce's not in town right now. She's... She's in Hawaii on a photo shoot. A model. I knew it. Well, anyway, there was a murder here on the lake. The trial's tomorrow. Huh. Neat. <laughs> Only fucking Larry at this point, you're like, so there was a murder here and there's a trial tomorrow, and Larry's like, huh, neat. <laughs> the defendant is Edgeworth. Miles Edgeworth? Uh, Nick? Why would Larry know Edgeworth? Whoa, Nick. You don't mean that, Miles Edgeworth. Ol' Edgy? Yeah, he's a murder suspect. Whoa, murder? Huh? You know Mr. Edgeworth, Larry? Yeah, of course. Edgy was in the same class as us in grade school. What? Samurai dogs. <laughs> um, uh, tell me about the dogs. Huh? Oh, you mean the samurai dogs? Why are they samurai dogs? I mean, they kind of look gourd-shaped. Oh, well, originally they were gourd dogs. You know, like guard dogs? Ouch. The samurai thing was Keonce's idea. Oh, she's my woman, you know. She was all, change the name and you go, girlfriend. She made that banner. Man, the kids can't get enough of these samurai dogs. Um, something about that just seems wrong. Oh, and guess what? We're getting a ton of customers here at the lake. What with the big news? The big news? Yeah, Gordy! Gordy? So, Mr. Edgeworth was your classmate, Larry? Yeah, Nick, him, and I used to hang out all the time. Wow, I never knew. Don't get me wrong, he's always been kind of a stick in the mud. Studying all the time, trying to... Be like father. Like his father? Yeah, Edgy's pop was a famous defense lawyer back in the day. Wow. Wait, you said defense lawyer? Yeah. Wait a second, but Mr. Edgeworth is a prosecuting attorney. What? Edgy's got a <laughs> What? Edgy's got a proboscis on his knee? No, he's a prosecuting attorney. That's like the total opposite of a defense lawyer. Did my, did my controller just disconnect? Hello? No, you're good. Huh, go figure. He always used to talk about defending the weak who are unable to defend themselves. Man, he used to go on and on about man's duty to society and all that. What a bore. I wonder what changed his mind, though. Do you know Nick? Nick? Why does he look pissed off? Uh, what's Gordy? Huh? You mean you don't know? It's here, in this very lake. A giant mysterious- Whoa, I just hiccup. A giant mysterious monster, Gordy! A monster? Yeah. Check it out! This is an article from yesterday's newspaper. There's a photo! Wow, it's really real! 
I like the dead looking people in the front. I think it really brings it all together. Nick, a monster! A real monster! Uh, yeah. It's probably just a log or something, right? Hey, there's a quote here from the person who took the photo. Huh? What's this? I set the camera to automatic, and when we got into the frame, I heard a loud bang, like an explosion, followed by the sound of something slipping into the water. I wish I could have seen it! Why would there be a sound like an explosion? Larry, could I borrow this article from you? Sure, no problem. That'll be one million dollars! One million? Grow up, Larry. I don't know if I have anything to show him. Does this mean anything to you? What's this? You know, my eyes have been getting pretty bad lately, Nick. Actually, the photo's blurry, Larry. It was taken last night. Last night? Hey, Larry, do you know this guy? Who's this? I don't know. That's why I asked you. Who's this, Maya? Well... <laughs> Good talk, gang. Good job. What's that? It's a camera. You take pictures with it? Huh? Larry, you mean you don't know what a camera is? Of course I know. Hey, you're looking at a bona fide junior high graduate. Did Larry not graduate high school? Is that part of the, the lore here? I was talking about the weird contraption on that camera. Oh, that. Well, it's hard to explain. Just forget about it. Well, don't go showing me it then. Jeez. Okay, I don't think he is. I could show Larry my badge. I don't think it'll help. Huh? Oh, that's your attorney's badge, isn't it? Dude, you really helped me out back in that trial. Sorry, I can't really pay you. Because you blow it all on Keonse. But you can have all the dogs you want. Really? Larry, if you let her at your dogs, you won't have any left for the other customers. Hey, no problem. If that would make her happy, you know? How many times do I have to remind you that it was me who got you off the hook? I'm assuming now I have to go bother Edgeworth or something? I don't know. <laughs> Everyone's at- who's Keonse? Keonse merch when? I don't think they ever show her. Larry, in every appearance, has like some new girlfriend. So... I don't think you ever get to see this one. There's at least one other time, I think, where he has a girlfriend that you actually meet, maybe? I'm not sure, though. Did my controller disconnect? Why are you being like this? Oh, my controller's being a petty bitch. Actually, I'm pretty sure it's just that the cord sucks. You good? You gonna cooperate? Thanks. I need to get a new cord for it. Larry's face looks fucked up in that small icon, does it? Yeah, a little bit. <laughs> Is that better for you? It's not the most flattering image of him, maybe. <laughs> anyway, no one's here. Just sad music. Sad music is here. First your mic and now your controller. I know, it's a technical difficulties kind of night. I'm sure I have another cord in my house for this controller. I just have to find it. <clears throat> Ah, that old familiar clearing of the throat. Aha, you're Mia's uh, something, are you not? I was her understudy, yes. Phoenix, right? Ah, and you're, you're Mia's something too, are you not? Her little sister, yeah. You've grown. You've come to look a lot like your sister, you know? It takes me back. Ah, the days of my youth, like the scent of fresh lemon, you see. Uh, Mr. Grossberg, sir? Hm? Ah, yes, I beg your pardon. Of course you came here to discuss something. What is it, then? Something the matter? What happened? There was a murder last night. A murder? You haven't heard? I, uh, just got up, you see. Well, Miles Edgeworth shot someone with a pistol, allegedly. Edgeworth? What? Who? Well, the identity of the victim is still unknown. 
This is terrible news indeed. I guess he hadn't heard anything. Mr. Grossberg, whatever happened to that painting? Oh yes, I do not think it shall ever be coming back home to this office. I can't exactly claim it as stolen. I suppose it's my just desserts. Old, bitter desserts. Cool. Why don't you put something else up? Put a picture of a sexy lady. Yeah, I was like, it's gonna be a lot of him not having anything to say about stuff. So this is the moment the crime took place, huh? You can't really say for sure that's Edgeworth. I'm not sure whether that's a good thing or a bad thing. Not sure at all. Hmm? Strange. I feel as though I've seen this man somewhere before. <laughs> Do you, did you remember? He was a lawyer! Here in my office! That's Hammond! Robert Hammond! Mr. Hammond? And you say this is the man Miles Edgeworth shot? I'm gonna assume we got dialogue for that. Who is this Hammond guy anyway? Mr. Hammond. He was the defense attorney in that case. That case? Yes, the DL6 incident. DL6? Why does that sound so familiar? Perhaps you remember? I'm sure someone mentioned it during the trial for Mia's murder. That was the incident where the police were so at a loss they used a spirit medium. Wait, you don't mean... Was that medium my mother? Yes, my dear. The spirit medium Misty Fay, your mother, contacted the spirit of the victim. But the case was a loss. No conviction was made. The DL6 incident, yes. Happened 15 years ago. A very strange case indeed. They never caught the criminal. I thought that was Grossberg talking, so I kind of spoke fluidly. They never caught the criminal, right? Correct. Misty Fay used her powers to talk to the spirit of the late victim. Her testimony led to charges being laid against the one man. But this Mr. Hammond won the case and the suspect was declared innocent. And the police blamed my mother, calling her a fraud. You were the one who helped her out then, right, Mr. Grossberg? Uh, yes, yes, quite. Thank you. No, please, don't mention it. DL6. Never thought I'd hear that name again. But wait, what does that case have anything to do with Mr. Edgeworth? It has everything to do with Mr. Edgeworth, my dear. I want Mika to read books for Audible. That would be a hot fucking mess. <laughs> <clears throat> the victim in the DL6 incident was none other than his father, Gregory Edgeworth. What? His father? If you want to know more, you should ask him yourself. Show him this. I'm sure he'll talk to you. Wait. This is a photograph of my mother. Well, thanks for the shit. Bye. I love it. I love hot messes. I'll do me reading Lord of the Rings, and I'll be like, whoa, whoa. What's this? I was hoping you'd gotten my message the first time. Edgeworth, what about your defense? It's no concern of yours. Guess he hasn't found anyone yet. Can I ask you about the murder? Right. I'll ask you again. Just leave me alone. Please try to understand. I'm not doing this to prove I'm tough or because I look down on you. I just don't want you anywhere near this case. Understand? I gotta show him the photo immediately, I think. Edgeworth? It's... Only been a matter of hours since you last visited, yet you've made incredible progress in your investigation. I'll admit it, I'm impressed, right? You were always single-minded in your work, though. Once you start on something, you always see it through, don't you? About the DL6 incident. Right. DL6. I didn't want you to find out about it. That is why I refused your offer to defend me. I'm sorry if it sounded like I thought you weren't up to the job. He kind of does the thing with his eyebrows that Gumshoe does. Do you see? Edgeworth's eyebrows are kind of like funky. 
<laughs> I'm sorry, I just fixated on that for a second. Like, look at those brows! I just wanted to keep you away from DL6. So, do you still think it would have been better for me to stay away? I don't know, but I see no point in hiding anything from you now. Very well. Ask whatever you like, and I'll answer to the best of my abilities. Edgeworth wanted to keep away from the DLC incident. He's a firm believer that games should be released in a complete state. God, right? We knew we could trust our buddy Edgeworth to keep us away from DLC. <laughs> the DL6 incident was when my father died. Cool. Right? <laughs> Sorry. Was that an inappropriate reaction? <laughs> right before my eyes, he was shot and killed. And I saw it all. My memories from that time are... foggy. I suppose it's a self-defense mechanism. In any case, a suspect was arrested. A man. It's pretty clear he was the only one who could have killed my father. The spirit medium they used to talk to my late father said the same thing. It was an attorney by the name of Robert Hammond that cleared the suspect's name. And Hammond... Is the victim in the Gord Lake murder? Correct. Um, that spirit medium. That was my mom! What? You mean your... It's strange. I thought that terrible incident was about to end. And now this. About to end? The DL6 incident happened 15 years ago. 15 years ago on December 28th. December 28th? The statue stat The statue <laughs> You ever just you you try to read a word of limitations on the case runs <laughs> You ever try to read a word Mika 2019 runs out in 3 days. What? Uh Nick, what does that mean? When a case is stat- I actually am not sure if I'm saying that word right. Statute? Stat- 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 That doesn't seem right. Stat- statute? Stat- statute? Stat- Fuck it. Of limitations. It's pronounced statute? I don't think so. Of limitations runs out legally. The- you got it right, it's statute. Okay, it's really hard to say. <laughs> Hi, I'm Jared, I'm 19, and I never fucking learned how to read. It's pronounced tomato. <laughs> the case never happened. Three days from now, the DL6 will be closed forever. Well, wait, did I say, I actually said that right. I'm getting a little tongue-tied, let me drink some water. There we go, that should help. What happened to the suspect? The one who got off innocent? I don't know. He disappeared from public view. Nobody knows where to. If he's still alive, he'd be about 50 years old now. I can guess... but I guess... <laughs> me. I'll drink water and then I can read better. Me. Nope. I guess I can understand why he'd go into hiding. It'd be hard to live a normal life after being a murder suspect in a big case. Um, so was your father a lawyer? He was. Gregory Edgeworth. He was quite famous at the time, apparently. So you were sort of trying to follow in his footsteps. I'd rather not talk about it. Aw, Edgeworth. <laughs> it's so sad. I'm not in the mood to idle banter. <laughs> Who would have thought there'd be a photo? Edgeworth, did you shoot him? What do you think, right? I don't think you're the kind to point a gun at anyone, no. So you didn't shoot him? No, I didn't. It wasn't me. Right. It pains me to ask you this now. I know, you want us to defend you! 
Yes. Will you? What if I just was like, no. <laughs> like, dead ass. What if all of this bullshit, I was like, no. <laughs> Fuck you, Edgeworth. <laughs> Do it. Sa save state. Okay, I'm going to save state. Just for you, folks. I'll fucking save state. Save state. Let's go ahead and save to slot one. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Sorry, Charlie. No way. Right. Nick? Hey, don't look so serious, guys. I was kidding. <laughs> I don't know why I save state. When it was like, what if I said that and then it was just like, game over? Guess I'll load from that. Ah, who could have guessed this day would come? Not me. This is my chance to finally pay you back. Pay him back? Pay me back? For what? I don't remember ever doing anything for you. Never mind, I guess you don't really need to know. Huh. My letter of request. Please give it to Detective Gumshoe. Aw oh, man, Gumshoe's gonna be over the fucking moon. Well, I guess we should... What's that? Earthquake! Nick! It's a big one! What? It's calming down! Ugh. That was scary! Huh? Where's Edgeworth? There. He's on the floor in a ball. Shiver. I hate how my Maya's expression is so, like, full of delight that Edgeworth is on the ground in a ball crying. <laughs> I guess he doesn't do so well with earthquakes. I've heard of running, but curling up in a ball? Well, I guess we're done. Mr. Edgeworth doesn't seem like he's gonna stand up anytime soon. Let's go, Nick. Uh, right. We have to give Edgeworth's letter of request to Detective Gumshoe. Suffer for my amusement, peasant. What's going on here? Ah! Uh, what's wrong, detective? This wild lady just comes in here a while ago, says she came to talk to y'all after hearing what Mr. Wright had to say. What's this all about, pal? A lot of heart. Why are you going around finding more witnesses? You want to give Mr. Edgeworth the death sentence, pal? N no, not at all. Just, I mean, she did see something. There's nothing I can do about that. I can't go around covering up evidence. Uh, you trying to say something about the way I do my job? No, sir. Take this thing. Look what I got. Hey, you did it, pal! Glad I waited to the last minute to file those papers. I'll rip them up and start new ones for you. Thanks, detective. Well, see you in court tomorrow, then. Good luck, pal. Hey! You guys feel that earthquake a little while back? I was worried. Worried? We're fine. I've lived out here my whole life. I'm pretty used to them by now. Uh, I wasn't worried about you two. I was worried about Mr. Edgeworth. Oh, right. He did seem to overreact a little now that you mention it. Yeah, well, I'm not surprised. It was a pretty big quake. I'm gonna go check on him. You two go eat and get your rest for tomorrow's trial. Later. I wonder what it is with Mr. Edgeworth and earthquakes? I wonder. He was never that scared of them when he was in school. Then again, I was only in the same class as him for fourth grade. He transferred to another school after that. I wonder what happened to Edgeworth. To be continued. Yeah, I'm gonna try to wrap up the... The first... If it's not already obvious, there's gonna be more than one trial day. I'm gonna try to wrap that up tonight, and then that's what we'll have for Ace Attorney. So let's get into it! Let's get into the thick of this shit. Oh, I'm so excited. It's- it's fucking Manfred von Karma time, beach. Ooh! Are you excited? I'm excited. Someone fucking messaging me on the Discord. Shut the fuck up. Not really. That's okay. <laughs> 
Karma? That's right, Manfred von Karma. He's the best prosecutor there is. He hasn't lost a case in his 40-year career. He's a god of prosecution, right? A god! Not a single case! He'll do anything to get a guilty verdict. Anything. Hmm. Sounds like someone else I know, Edgeworth. Hmm. <laughs> you don't understand. I mean, he'll really do anything. Manfred von Karma is a man to be feared. That's quite a claim coming from someone who forges evidence. He taught me what it really means to prosecute. What? I'm sorry, I, I did that really girlishly. That what was very much like it came from Maya. Sorry, Phoenix was so shocked he became- he, his voice went up like two octaves. <laughs> ah, anyway. Just picture a prosecutor as vicious as me, multiplied by a ta- a tactor of Fen! <laughs> a tactor of Fen. Ugh. So... So was he your teacher then, Mr. Edgeworth? Something like that. And now he's trying to get you found guilty? What a creep! Oh wait, maybe he's planning on losing on purpose to help you out! Not a chance. He hasn't lost once in 40 years. 40 years! He's as ruthless as me, times 20. That's pretty ruthless. Good night, friend. Thank you for coming to the stream. Like I said, he's a god among prosecutors. I guess that's something like Mia was to me. Speaking of Mia... Uh, Maya? Uh-huh. We could really be using Mia's help right now, don't you think? Oh. I can't. Sorry. I tried. I really tried, but I couldn't reach. You couldn't reach? I think it's because I haven't been training. My powers are weak again. Oh man, what bad timing. I'm really sorry. I'll try my best. I hope so. I mean, that's why she wanted to be sprayed down with a fire hose and all. What are you whispering about? Oh, it's nothing. Well, it's time. Let's head in. Check it, check it, check it, check it, check it. Woo! Check it, check it, check it, check it, check it. Yeah, yeah! There he is. Court is now in session for the trial of Mr. Miles Edgeworth. The defense is ready, Your Honor. Whew. Ah, uh, Mr. Von Karma, is the prosecution ready? Fool. You seriously think that I would stand here if I were not completely prepared? Uh, right. My apologies. He's even got the judge scared. Very well. Your opening statement, please? Decisive evidence. A decisive witness. What else could possibly be required? Uh, nothing, of course. That should be fine. The prosecution may call its first witness. What's with this guy? Is he royalty or something? How am I supposed to fight against this? I call the detective in charge of this case, Detective Dick Gumshoe. Okay, gumshoes first. Let's see how it goes. This feels like the battle of the big shoulders. <laughs> like, everyone's shoulders here are very wide. Describe the incident now. Yes, sir! Detective Gumshoe looks nervous. Uh, please take a look at the map. The murder happened Christmas Eve, around midnight. There was one boat in the very middle of the lake. There were two men on the boat. Now, there happened to be a woman camping here on the edge of the lake. At 12.10 a.m., she heard two pistol shots. Then the boat started to move. It went towards the boat rental shop. Overhead map added to the court record. Testify to the court about your arrest now. Wait, Mr. Von Karma. Yes. Actually, I'm the one that's supposed to be handling these proceedings. Ooh, he got you with the old finger wiggle. Wrong. There is only one thing you need to do here. You will slam down your gavel and say the word guilty. That is your role. Uh, yes, of course. You're quite right. No 
he's not! The arrest of Edgeworth. Okay. Wait. I was like, this is new dialogue, right? Shit. Cool. Whatever. Ahem. <clears throat> A man called into the station around 30- I'm sorry, I had a total brain fart for a second and I was like, Hello? Where are we? Everyone doing good? 1am. Are we doing good? I'm kinda hungry. I could use some more goldfish crackers. A man called into the station around 30 minutes after midnight. We headed to the scene of the crime as fast as we could. That's where we found Mr. Edgeworth. Now, I didn't suspect him of anything at all, but the next morning a body was found in the lake. So, we had to arrest Mr. Edgeworth. Hmm, I see very well. I have to yawn. That yawn felt nice. Begin your cross examination of 30 now. Let's do it. Alright, let's press all these statements. Mm -hmm. You received a call from a man? Yep. But you said there was a woman camping there? She was the one who heard the two gunshots, right? That woman and the man who called and reported two different people, obviously. Different people? There were two witnesses. Oh, oh, oh. I totally- Oh my god. Mika takes another sip of water because she just stopped reading suddenly! <laughs> I was like, words? Text? Hello? Oh my god. Maybe I need to take a break. Maybe that's what I should do, actually. <laughs> I'm gonna take a break, you guys. I'll be right back. Because evidently, I just fucking, like, conked out. <laughs> uh, hold on for a second. Okay, you all. Okay, guys, we're just gonna Let me give this a good old pause. And we're just gonna be right back with more Ace Attorney. Don't go nowheres. Sorry about that. Be right back. Sorry about that fucking Windows noise just now. Um, but uh, here's the thing, y'all. I'm back. I would like to play some more Ace Attorney, but it's pretty late. And I think actually I should have just stopped at the beginning of the. Uh, that the trial which saved it for tomorrow i don't know who's still popping around in here but what do you guys say to uh, some papa's games now <laughs> what do you say to some uh cool math games how does that sound to you do it do it yes okay i was like it's a weird point to stop because i start i'm sorry i'm replacing the batteries in my mouse while i'm talking because during the break, all I really achieved was uh, taking a bathroom break and uh, eating like a third of a bagel with no cream cheese or anything on it <laughs> because I'm hungry and I was like, I need something that'll sustain me. I'm achieving my final form. Uh, I'm so happy for you. Um, okay, good. Looks like now my mouse should be good. Let's see if it's going to work. No. My mouse is plugged in. Give me just a second. But yeah, if you guys are feeling papas, I'm about to get more Windows noises. Hold on. Let's try and make it so I can mute those, perhaps. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Volume mixer. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. There we go. Let me just plug my... Nope. I thought I muted the Windows noise. For some reason, my mouse isn't working. I just got back, but I think I'm gonna head off. Good night, Mika. Good night, Chet. Thanks, Ash dear. Thanks for popping in anyway. It's cool. Well, I was gonna play Papa's games, but now my mouse isn't cooperating. Actually, let me see if I disconnect my controller and I plug my mouse into the same slot. Will it work then? <sighs> or am I. Because I don't wanna fucking play Papa's games. Yep, there we go. Cool. I think. That USB hub, because it's the same one that my mic was plugged into, I think it's going bad. I think it's just not working. Jacksmith is the name of the game that's essentially a Papa's game, but not. Huh. Okay, I'm just gonna save state for my attorney. I almost just called Phoenix Wright Ace Attorney just attorney game. <laughs> Even as a big fan of the series, 
Attorney game. Lawyer game. Cool. We're going to close that. We're going to... Let's open up cool math games.